All right, guys, we're back with numbers 16 to 20. Um, continuing on with this case break in this five-part box series that I did with the stadium club. Had a lot of fun with that, so we're going to continue this and, uh, yeah, shuffle up and deal. Let's change something here real quick. Um, yeah, this is the stack here so far. Blaster boxes 1 through 15. And this is the uh, 10 blasters versus one hobby. Um, just the hits, not the inserts. So this has hits and inserts. Um, but I'm going to document and just kind of put a little sheet together and just to show what you can expect from these two um, comparisons plus the 40 box blaster case. And I think that's a really good gauge, uh, obviously because of what I did before, but um, when you're talking about price between the hobby and the retail. Um, now the outliers, obviously, if you're watching these in order, it's going to be um, the actual hits themselves. So just because you pull a good card and you say, oh, I made a bunch of money on this case, that's not going to be the norm. Um, any of those cards that you pull, the lunar, the blue, the reds, whatever, yellows, doesn't matter the parallel color from which format, um, it could be a dud, meaning it could be a, there's a Drew Jones paper, so maybe we'll get the Drew Jones chrome in this if the collation's been how it's been per single box. If you get the chrome, you get the paper, vice versa, in the same blaster box. Um, so you can never expect a certain player. Um, you know, with a, a retail green, you can pull a green auto of Drew Jones and you can snag one of these um, who sells, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe 25, 35, 50 bucks, somewhere in that range. I don't know offhand, but it's not a huge name, but it is awesome to hit out of retail um, a card like that. So any one of these good cards could have simply been an average card. Um, and then obviously it's the... Um, the waiting game after that. Do you do you sit, let it marinate, watch a player develop, follow him, you know, that you got, you know, hey, I've pulled this many cards of this guy like that. Alex, I think it's Alex Ramirez from the Cubs. He's got his second card, but his first auto is in this release. I just, for some reason, kept getting lucky with him, and he happens to be a pretty, pretty good selling card and a good prospect. So, um, and I like the Cubs. Uh, do you, do you hang on to that and kind of let it, you know, you're into it for the cost of the box. You're not recouping any money, but now you have a little attachment to that card. Maybe a little bias towards him because you pulled that and think he's going to do good or hope he does good. So that's always a fun part too. That's kind of the enjoyment stuff that not many people talk about. I think that we need to highlight a lot more. So, um, so yeah, we just uh, did not get the uh, Chrome. So I missed it. No, we did not get the chrome, but we did get the paper Drew Jones. Um, let's do this thing up real quick. Okay, moving on to box number two in the rip and box number 16 in the series. Some more base. Uh, Jackson Holiday in the prospect card insert. And then Wilbur Sanchez and Blake Lubier. Lubier? Lubier? How do you say that? The 407th overall pick by the Red Sox. I think with pitchers, the age is, of course, it's a factor, but.